Happy fall, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping in today. If you haven't already done so, please do hit that subscribe button. And for everybody who's back to my channel, um, welcome back. And today is a special day because it's the first fall haul from Trader Joe's that I'm doing today. I got the new Fearless Flyer. There's a whole bunch of great new products and returning favorites to go over today. So this is going to be a good episode. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. So Trader Joe's does have their fall stuff fully um, coming out. It's, it, I don't know how much more there is because there is a lot in the store right now. I got a good portion of it, but there are still so many other pumpkin related items. And like the Fearless Fire says, pumpkins and apples and maple, oh my, it is oh my. There's so many new items to try. So much going on at Trader Joe's during this time of year. But um, let's dig right in and check out what I actually brought home for my latest shopping trip. Um, again, the Fearless Flyer, it's amazing. I love the Fearless Flyer, get all excited to read it. It's like my favorite magazine. Um, so grab one of these as you head into your Trader Joe's store. And let's um, go over what I got here. So let's see, where do I begin? There's so much going on, so much great pumpkin stuff. Um, so let's do what's right in front of me. So, um, returning favorite, we have the Darble Fall Zucat Pasta, there's a little pumpkin shaped pasta, and um, they're, they're sticking with the organic, they used to have just regular, but I think the organic don't break quite as much, so um, this is the only one now that they have in store, but I'm so happy to see it, I love the pumpkin shapes, it's um, really delicious chewy pasta made with butternut squash and, and of course regular wheat semolina but um it's really really good and it goes perfectly perfect pairing here with the uh, um, autumnal harvest creamy sauce i get this every single year since it came out and it's really delicious in fact i stock up and get um, a few more jars a few more bags because and the pasta lasts till um, July 26th, and the sauce is good until 25. So basically, if you get enough, it'll carry you through the whole next year. So this is a returning favorite. Always happy to see it back. I'll move these down here. And that makes a delicious, quick, easy meal, perfect pairing. All right, moving right along, another returning favorite is the Trader Joe's pumpkin bread and muffin mix. I just learned that the muffins are way better than even the bread. So I used to only make it in a loaf pan, but now I've made it in a muffin pan, sprinkled pepitas and some raw sugar on top, and it's so delicious. It tastes even better than Starbucks pumpkin muffins. So. This is back in store. Grab it while you see it. Again, another thing that lasts um, way into next year. So if you get a few, you can have pumpkin all year around. So that's what's great about some of these items. There's others that are short coated, but. So that's another returning favorite. Um, this is something new. Actually, it's new to me. I think they might have had it last year, but pumpkin spice batons these delicious little rolled cookies in pumpkin spice flavor. I like the canister, it's a really cute little container. So I got these to try. Not sure if they had them last year, but I've never tried them before. So excited about that. Uh, this pumpkin walks into a bar's back. I got two boxes, another thing to stock up on because these go super fast. These bars do not stay. Like the peach was there maybe one week in summer and then it was just poof, gone. So I got two boxes of these. I love the pumpkin bars. Really, really good. Um, this is something new this year, honey crisp apple granola. I'm, an app, I'm a honey crisp apple fan as it is. I like granola, so combine the two, I'm sure it's really amazing. So that's 
that's a new product I look forward to trying. You can have it as cereal, sprinkle it on yogurt, just whatever you want to do with it, but it sounds like it would be delicious. So I look forward to trying that. I picked up uh, apple cider foaming hand soap. This is returning with a new container. So last year they had it, but it had a different container. This one actually is like clear. I think it's uh, attractive. I think it does the job, draws attention to it. So the scent is amazing. Definitely recommend this. Again, grab a few, you can have them all year. Returning again are the Greek non-fat yogurts in pumpkin flavor and again honey crisp apple cinnamon so they're really big on the honey crisp apple this year um, but um, out of the two I always like the honey crisp apple one better than even the the pumpkin one but again they're both really good so I have both of them so I get those I missed the caramel apple one. That was so amazing. And this is something new. In fact, I'm surprised there's still two in the box because I really wanted to try one so badly when I brought it home, but I held off for the video. Um, but these look so good. These apple cinnamon buns. You can see them. They're, they, I got them when they first were, like, were just put out, so they were fresh. Um, crumb top Danish pastries with apple filling and cinnamon. They're 410 calories each, so they are like high on calories, but it makes a great treat. And they look delicious, a must try. I can smell the, like, oh, I can smell the cinnamon crumb pastry coming out of the package. Really, really good. I can't wait to try. Those are gonna be tried right after this video. And then I found a returning favorite is the pumpkin madelines. Madelines are just good whether they're pumpkin or plain. They have that kind of soft pound cakey texture. So I got those while I see them. And this is something new. I never tried the maple flavored marshmallows. They're mini marshmallows are really good anyway, so I'm a maple fan. I'm sure I'm gonna love these. Put them on hot chocolate. You can have like a maple hot chocolate. I think they would be amazing on sweet potato casserole. So yeah, this is another exciting new item. I thought this greeting card was really cute. So yeah, if you haven't uh, already known, Trader Joe's has greeting cards and this one, Welcome Fall with the cute little pumpkins on there. And inside it says, Happy Fall, y'all. So I got one of those, those are really cute. And then um, I picked up a Trader Joe's pumpkin cream cheese spread. This is another returning favorite. Last year it went really quick in the store, so I grabbed it while I saw it. They also have the pumpkin muffins. No, sorry. They also have the pumpkin bagels back in stock. They do have pumpkin muffins, but I like making my own with the mix. Um, but they have their pumpkin bagels back in store. They're delicious, but I didn't get them this time around because they were all kind of smashed. Um, so I'm gonna probably grab a bag the next time I go into the store. Hopefully they'll be there but I already have my cream cheese whenever I do buy them again. So this is another returning favorite, the Harvest Chili. I bought it last year, I bought several actually, and it's really, really good. It makes a hearty, quick lunch or dinner. It's good on those colder fall days, so um, it's warm and cozy, so I got those. And I got the pumpkin gnocchi. I did try these last year. I remember making like a sausage stir fry dish with them. But anyway, I picked those up. They are always good. Don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet this year, but I'm definitely gonna do something. 
And then I also picked up the pumpkin ravioli. I have not tried these before, so I'm actually kind of excited to try these. And I was thinking maybe to try the sauce with them. So I need to pick up another sauce so I can have them with my pumpkin pasta as well. But I'm thinking of doing that. Or like a brown butter would probably just be good too. Yeah, they actually say toss with butter, olive oil, or your favorite sauce. So any of those above options are a possibility. But anyway, I have them and I'm definitely excited to try them. And I'm returning this year is the rice, cauliflower, and butternut squash risotto. So this comes in the freezer um, and looks really good, though I haven't tried it yet. I know it was around last year, but I have yet to try it. I'm going to try that this year. I took on those home with me. And um, these I've tried before. I really, really, really like these. These spicy pumpkin samosas. I bake them till they're crispy. If you have an air fryer, you can air fry them as well. They're really, really good. They come crispy. They come like like savory and slightly spicy. I like putting them with like a dipping sauce. I actually put them with the pumpkin jam from last year, but I didn't see that around in stores this year. But um, that's what they work really well with, like a, like a jelly or jam that's, that paired well. Like pumpkin was perfect, but I do highly recommend these. Really, really good. I actually end up eating the whole box. That's how good they are. So those are in the freezer section. And this is something new. Definitely excited to try these pumpkin ginger scones. They come frozen and you bake them yourself. So you can bake as many or as few as you'd like. And definitely excited to try these. They have crystallized ginger, which I love. So yeah, this is, this is like one of those brand new items that I'm excited about. as is the butternut squash lasagna. Another new item that looks really, really good. Really, really good. You can um, see, bake it in the oven or microwave it and it's supposed to serve two. Or if you're really hungry, you eat the whole package. It's 630 calories, but it's a new item. Oh, it has pumpkin seeds on top. And that looks really, really, really good. So that's another exciting new item. And let's see what we got here. Oh, we got um, the fall leaf chips. The only problem is, is that most of them look cracked. So like the pretty leaves look kind of crumbled and cracked. So I'm not too happy about that, but I still grab the bag in case I never see them again. You never know. Things just are there one week and gone the next. But um. These are a standby every year. I do get a few bags and have them with salsa, dips, whatever. They make a nice presentation when they're whole in their leaf form. So I grab a bag of those. And uh, I found these, these were just loose. Like they, they, I think they sell them in like an eight pack, but these were just loose. So I wanted to grab one of each flavor to try their seltzer water. I just, I really like flavored sparkling water, you know, like the Polar or the uh, LaCroix. And this is just their version of that. But the flavors were really good, like lemon ginger juice, blood orange and orange juice, and then cranberry lime. So they're flavored sparkling water. So I'm looking forward to try those. I grabbed this Yerba Maid beverage. It's another sparkling like tea beverage. So I was in the mood for like things sparkling when I was there. So I got those. And let's see what else we have. Oh, for the beauty products, I got another pumpkin overnight mask and the pumpkin body butter. So both of these I've tried, they're very good. They're, um, they have a good scent, they work well. 
So um, definitely good items to grab while they have them. Pumpkin is not just to eat. You can also incorporate pumpkin in your beauty routine. And um, oh, they were having like a whole display of these the time before last. So just before fall came out, they were like pushing these on a really big display. So I wanted to try them on the Madre's lentils and the tikka vegetables. So they're like curry Indian flavors, which I sometimes really, really like. So I want to try those. Makes a quick lunch. You can put them over rice or not. Just eat them out of the bag. And they're microwavable in the pouch. So easy peasy. And last but not least, closing it with the coffee. So this is what was out there new this time around. Of course, I'm very fond of the autumn maple coffee. I'm bummed though that they didn't have the Keurig cups because I use both. I use ground for home and I use Keurig cups for work. Um, but they did not have the Keurig cups yet. I'm still hoping that they come back soon. But anyway, uh, I got the ground and I'm very fond of this coffee. And then this was something new, one of their um, seasonal flavors, chocolate hazelnuts. So this is brand new, never seen it before. And it's a light roast. So, um, you know, I'm a coffee lover. So I give every coffee a, a try and I'm sure it'll be delicious. And that wraps it up. That was my Trader Joe's Fall Haul number one. I'm sure there will be others before the season is up and then there's the Christmas time which will kind of just roll right into that but um yeah I'm very busy at Trader Joe's during these next three months so I hope everybody is um, staying well staying safe out there and enjoyed my video today again don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button down below leave me a comment about how you guys like Trader Joe's and and until next time, live, laugh, love, and shop at Trader Joe's. See you guys.